You know, I talk about buffets, not because I'm a big guy. No, I'm actually writing a book, Around the World in 80 Buffets. <laughs> and in my research, I found that there are some foods that shouldn't be all you can eat. Like Chinese food shouldn't be all you can eat because you get hungry again. I don't know what it is. They put something in it. They must. Because I order takeout, they're always real happy. Oh, he's gonna be back. <laughs> I give that big boy one hour. Because <laughs> you do get hungry again. What is it, too? And you go from full to starving. There's nothing in between. You go from, oh my God, I can't believe I ate all that chow mein. Hey, look, they brought egg rolls. <laughs> so I went to this Chinese all-you-can-eat buffet, and while the owner, he got pissed. I mean, he was rude, though. He'd come out every hour. <laughs> Son of a bitch, still here. Look, he go again! <laughs> he started screaming at me. You're going now! You're here for an hour! Why you here for an hour? You will not come here anymore! <laughs> Why you have spare rib? You're so big! <laughs> Eat vegetable! Eat broccoli. <laughs> you scare my wife. <laughs> Love Chinese food shouldn't be all you can eat. Now, Japanese food. For the book, I went to an all you can eat sushi place. Mmm. <laughs> all the raw stuff I can eat, huh? It was $22.95. $22.95 for raw fish. $22.95, you throw this on the grill. <laughs> $22.95, I can't eat a dollar's worth. I brought a seal. <laughs> I put them right under the table. Or, or, or. Another plate, please. Or, or. That seal ate buckets full. The owner thought I was eating it all, though. Got yelled at again.